from Seattle. Resistance is justified when people are occupied. To Los Angeles and New York City, many Americans are showing support for Israel or Palestine as intense violence overtakes the region. But in Portland, Oregon. We're waiting. We have nothing to do but wait. There's nothing we can do but wait. Joel Bainan and his family keep their phones close by, hoping his niece and her husband, who are in Israel, will call. And the kids uh, made it out okay and have been evacuated, and we haven't heard anything uh, about either my niece or her husband uh, since then. Bainan says his niece, who is an American citizen, went into a shelter and her husband went out to fight when Israel was attacked Saturday by Hamas fighters. If you attack unarmed civilians, that's a war crime. It's a war crime when the Palestinians do it, and it's a war crime when the Israelis do it. Um, there's no difference there. Bainan was a professor of Middle East history at Stanford for 35 years, and he's concerned that violence will escalate in the next few days. I think it's very likely that there is going to be a bloodbath. Many thousands of Israel, really the whole country, uh, are, are totally traumatized and demanding revenge. And the government is going to deliver it to them because otherwise it will lose its uh, legitimacy. And Bainan knows that for his family, the outcome could be devastating. Even more so, I would like to see a fair and just and peaceful resolution to this conflict. Now, I did reach out to some Palestinian groups in Portland for their perspective. The Portland Party for Socialism and Liberation held a rally today supporting Palestine. In a statement, the group said in part, the actions of the resistance over the course of the last day is a morally and legally legitimate response to occupation. It was brought about by escalating Israeli oppression on numerous fronts. Tim. All right, Ashley, thanks for your reporting tonight.